Hello, Joy Zuckerman. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here, guys. As we celebrate, it's important to understand that NIMBYs, and if you don't know what NIMBYs are, NIMBYs are the acronym for Not In My Backyard. And so while we're all celebrating, understand that the NIMBYs in your town and your municipalities, they are also gathering and they are strategizing to figure out ways through zoning that they are going to arrest the development of the marijuana industry in the state of New York. And so they're gathering and they're organizing and they're going to be showing up in town, county and other local meetings. And even if there is nothing cannabis related on those published agendas for your town and local and county meetings, we need to show up. Because all it takes is a segue or a new business opportunity for the NIMBYs to take over one of these meetings. And again, it is in the devil is in the details of zoning ordinances in your municipalities. So you need to protect what we have been able to gather here by showing up and counteracting any of those voices of the NIMBY. So please, be aware when those meetings are taking place, grab your friends and show up. I also want you to know, I work mostly in industrial hemp. New York has a very bold, amazing industrial hemp program here, including for CBD and other hemp-derived cannabinoids. It is very bold in that New York is the very first state who has actually put forth a milligram uh, limit for CBD and food, total cannabinoids in food, and total cannabinoids, and we're talking about hemp-derived cannabinoids in dietary supplements. They have done a huge service to the emerging industries for your farmers, for your consumers, and for your small businesses and entrepreneurs here in New York. But at the federal level, we still have not been able to get the FDA to create a regulatory framework for these legal and safe hemp-derived cannabinoids like CBD. New York has had to take it into their own hands to create a regulatory framework. So we need to pass HR 841 at the federal level. That is the hemp and hemp-derived CBD Consumer Protection and Market Stabilization Act of 2021. Please go to hempsupporter.com so that you can take two seconds, guys, to ask all of your representatives and senators to please sign on to HR 841. So far, only one New York representative has, Chris Jacobs of the 27th District. Again, hempsupporter.com. Also, show up at those meetings, guys. Uh, and finally, it is my great pleasure to turn us over to Nicole Ritchie, New York Small Farms. Yeah.